So we are testing out the soft top on the Ford Bronco. So we're gonna be driving 45 to 55 miles per hour. The ultimate test so that you can know whether you should give up that hard top. We'll also be talking about practicality. So let's put the pedal to the metal. So we've got a small critique actually with the soft top. It's that when you take the first section back, it makes a lot of space and birds of prey can be checking out your dogs and your dogs can be checking out the birds of prey. So Maria was... I said slap the, the, the bird if he enters the car to take it, Lily. So I'm on slap... You're the, in charge of that. So I'm on slap the bird duty for the day. <laughs> and uh, Lily, I guess the birds of prey, they have gone now, but uh, she was just back there hopping around Say, I, Marie thinks they're saying, well, what do you think Lily was saying? <laughs> Pick me, I'm fat, you won't be able to take me no. in the air. <laughs> yeah, instead of Winston, he weighs nothing. Yeah. And get started right up, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss out on any information to help you with your vehicle purchasing decisions. We also want to save you thousands, so we have videos about the market. We've got Marie here with us. And of course, the pups are in the back, seat belted in, so they'll probably pop up once or twice during the video. So the hard, the soft, a hard top. We originally wanted a hard top. I originally ordered a two-door hard top, and knowing the difficulty it would be to get those, we then went just straight Badlands, nothing added to it, soft top, four-door, but with a 2.7 liter. So one original constraint, and we got that in September 2021, early September 2021. We loved it, but we'll talk more about that as we compare the two. Now, this is an Outer Banks Sasquatch with a 2.7 liter V6, and guess what? It got built. Why? Because we didn't stack, we didn't stack those constraints. So we've got the Sasquatch on an Outer Banks, we even have leather, but we have the high package. So just a reminder, if you're gonna be ordering or needing to switch your, your current order, for a Ford Bronco, do keep in mind, hard top, big constraint. Even though they're making about 65% of Broncos now can come hard top. Pretty much all those old reservations, you're basically all hard top. So that's your number one, your big one to get rid of. And of course, there is also, um, so you've got the hard top, you've got the luxury package. Those are your big ones. So just moving hard top to go to soft top. Now Sasquatch is also a constraint, but we've personally seen it with our builds. We've also seen it at our dealer. If you have a Sasquatch package on another model and it's a soft top and not Lux, it gets built. Now there are still about 78,000 reservations to get built and I do hope Ford makes 150,000 2023 Broncos or maybe even a little more for Lucky because last year we're at about the 130 some thousand mark for 2022 Broncos. But just testing out the Bronco with you all to help you along with your decision making process. We love our soft top. And you can actually hear us. We're currently going 47 miles per hour and right up to 65, 70 miles per hour. We can have a nice conversation together above 70 miles per hour. We wouldn't want to be driving with the top down. But look, we're on vacation and this is practical. We wouldn't have anywhere to put a hard top. And Marie, you know, big points. Marie brought up some really good points here. We drove through a horrible rainstorm. It was just pouring down in South Carolina. Vehicles were bumping into each other, were turned sideways right on, on the highway. And we we're just kind of swerving in between two accidents. And you, you know, your point? Yeah, for those who said, uh, oh, snow and uh, water can, came uh, from your roof in the car. No, it didn't happen. It didn't happen in uh, Canada back uh, <laughs> to the snowstorm. Never. Uh, and Never. it didn't happen in uh, North Carolina when we had uh, so much water <laughs> coming uh, on the car, but it wasn't in the car. So no, uh, no, no problem at all. And you know what? Finally, I prefer the soft top because you just have two clips to remove and oh, sun. Yeah. So yeah, I really love it and you can put it back easily. So for a day like that, and when we travel, it's the, the best way to go. And going, if you currently have, really want a hard top, and you have a four door, you can't go two door to get that hard top. You're gonna be reserving, uh, they're gonna be building those hard tops, and a lot of the hard tops are gonna be going to those two doors that require them. 
So there's a bit of an expectation really to switch to soft top. It will help. And I've said it from the very beginning of Bronco production. I was like, hey, 2.7 liters are getting built. It's all about not stacking constraints. And it's still about not stacking constraints. So we're thrilled with our high package. We still get the 12 inch screen. We still get lane keeping, which did save me from a few accidents <laughs> because we did drive down here in about 27 hours with only one stop for one hour. 27 hours straight in the Bronco. First of all, it was comfortable. The soft top, we went from a snowstorm to a horrendous rainstorm with so much hydroplaning that vehicles were having accidents and we were fine. Nothing's gone wrong with our soft top except one occasion when we put the windows up there on the outside and it was a horrible noise. We just had to stop, pull over, correct the, wi the easy windows. To correct. Easy to correct. And of course, someone did try to break into the back of our Bronco, but Ford, knowing that they put plastic clips in, gave us plastic uh, metal rev rivets on the outside and now we've got a more industrial military look. <laughs> I certainly like the look. Maridia, does it, do you, do the rivets on the outside bother you now? That, that don't bother me at all. Uh, for sure we see it, but at the same time we, we need to know that it's there to see it. You, you won't see it if you're far from the car. You need to be closer because it's the same color. So our soft top has been a fantastic to us. And even though we've got a four-door Bronco and we've got the big trunk, we were still absolutely at our limit. Now, of course, I have said yes to a few things to, that are a little embarrassing. So we've got a stroller with us during this vacation. So it's a little Just embarrassing. To be able to go to restaurants <laughs> and shopping. Yeah, Matthew likes her <laughs> shopping and going to restaurants. So we've got a doggy stroller in the back and the four-door is just enough space for us. So we've been very thrilled with the four-door, of course. Better resale value is what we believe is going to occur with the four-door. Um, you and know our... what's my only regret with that Bronco? What's that? The vinyl grade marine that we had in the Badlands. Good with point. The, the, the sandy paws that we have in the back and uh, in North Carolina it was muddy paws. We need to put um, a cloth on uh, the leather seat. So you can always order up, make a few compromises. Our original Bronco was supposed to be a hard top, two door, and we ended up getting the Badlands with nothing. And we went soft top, and our only regret is that it didn't have heated seats and it didn't have the high package. It didn't have the big screen, but guess what? The high package is not constrained and you still get lane keeping. Now hopefully Ford in future years will add adaptive cruise control. It's a fantastic safety feature. But for now, we've got the lane keeping. It did save us from having a few accidents. Uh, so it's a fantastic technology. And our first Bronco, well, we went sacrifice to actually get it. So we went soft top, but we still had the 2.7 liter in hitch when those things were like wildly constrained. But we had two constraints and we got our Bronco early. Now this is an Outer Banks four door Sasquatch with 2.7 liter as well as a hitch because I had the four wheeler to pull and now we'll have two CDUs to pull. So we wanted that. And even though it had some original constraints, we still got built. So there's proof amongst other builds that I've seen go down at my local dealership. I can tell you the worst thing you can do is to stack those constraints. Now, of course, if you take no constraints, you just take a black diamond, which still has marine grade vinyl, and you can get up to the mid package on it. So you could have the heated seats and keyless. It's pretty good. It's a, it's a nice option. I'd be tempted to get a 20, uh, maybe a 2024 Black Diamond. Now, of course, uh, we're getting the F-150 Lightning, so unfortunately, to test out for the channel. So unfortunately, we have to say bye to this Bronco, even though we love this Bronco. Um, we do have to worry a little with the leather and the, the dogs because things do kind of seep in the leather. A leather absorbs. It's, it's nonetheless a and skin. And maybe it will be easy to scratch with the nail, so yeah. <laughs> we, we put the, something on the, the seat to make sure. So we prefer marine grade vinyl, so our future build will either be a black diamond or a Badlands. Black diamond would make a lot of sense, but Marie said, you know, the Badlands, you love those mags, right? I love those mags. You said they had skin plate on the Black Diamond too. So yeah. this feature, I found it uh, good <laughs> to and be necessary. secured. Yeah, and necessary. So we dropped this Bronco on a rock.
you'll see that in our shorts and went pow and, and we, we got a little bit. And we the plate of the F-150 yeah. Raptor too. So that. yeah, I, I know now that it's a, an essential yeah. thing to have. So. I don't know if it's good plates are for. So we'll go Black Diamond or Badlands, and those are very buildable Broncos if you take them with a soft top. Now, if your only restriction is hard top, let's say you really can't live without the hard top, then why not get an Outer Banks hard top? But don't take Lux package and play it that way. However, I do recommend the 2.7 liter V6 if you do take Sasquatch package. But I think, not I think, I've seen if you take Sasquatch with a 2.7 liter, they're buildable. Now, of course, if you're an original reserver, you've got an original reservation in the system or carried over and you're looking at saving thousands of dollars if you get built as a 2023, then yes, maybe do consider removing everything or just leaving one constraint on, such as just hardtop or just Sasquatch. That would be my overall advice to y'all. And of course, you can always make your switches now, right now, and look at it again come very early March, before March 7th, to see if then you get picked up and built before the 27th, uh, or scheduled before the, the 27th of March. Soon it's going to be opened up to everybody, so do get built. We do wish you the best of luck. Of course, more cars and more power, and for more cars, more power, and more info, information is power, do hit that bell notification after you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like, because a lot of people need to hear this information. I've been talking about it since before the very first Bronco ever even showed up. I'm an original Bronco switch. Um, I, so I originally switched to soft top even when they were worried about creating enough soft tops. And anyways, I, I've been here for you guys all through the entire process for Ford products. Please do uh, subscribe to not miss out and to save thousands. Now Marie, do you have any going away words about, uh, about anything Bronco? No, I guess everything is said now. You're gonna have your Maverick soon. You're gonna have a hybrid Maverick and we're gonna test pulling two sedus with it. We'll see how that goes. It is gonna be a fun, fun summer. And we'll be pulling, of course, those two sedus. We'll also test it out with the Lightning. So we'll be doing a full array of F-150 Lightning tests and also comparing it against the F-150 Raptor because we still have our F-150 Raptor, which we love. The suspension on an F-150 Raptor is more comfortable than the Sasquatch package which it's too bad, Wild Track is very constrained. Avoid Wild Track at all costs, but the Haas 3.0 suspension, we did find this suspension a little um, a, a little jarring, it's, it's a little stiff, and I would hope that the Haas 3.0 would be a little softer, just as the Raptor is the best at absorbing bumps, but overall, we're thrilled. Everyone's gonna be spoiled by this vehicle, and the only slight thing we could say about the suspension being a little stiff is only because we've been living with a Raptor and we've also test driven the Lightning which has incredibly comfortable suspension so excessively spoiled but uh, pretty much everyone's gonna I think everyone's gonna be very happy with their Sasquatch package and if I reorder I probably will avoid the Sasquatch and just take a soft top Badlands we've had no issues in regards to weather getting in um, we don't know where people are you know making these videos uh, but for, for whatever reason, whether there are real reasons or not, some people have had trouble with the soft top, but we've had two soft tops. We've done minus extremely cold Canadian winters. We just haven't had any issues. So we really hope this information helps convince you to take a soft top. Remember, Ford put the prep package in the back. In the back, Ford listened, they put the prep package in, so if you get a hard top later, it's gonna be very expensive. It will go down with price, hopefully with time, but you're gonna get your Bronco and you're gonna get built and if you don't like it, well these have been holding incredible value. Even though a lot of what you'll see on YouTube is that the market has completely crashed and values are horrible. Well when you get back to Canada, we're gonna be selling this Bronco and it'll have cost us $2,000 to drive it for 14 months. Now yeah, so 
that's nothing per month. <laughs> so switching to another Bronco that would be more ideal will be easy. Uh, and we have more ideal, of course, we'll, we've now learned we want high package, soft top, and of course, those skid plates. Uh, for this one, we just wanted to get built, so we figured we'd add skid plates if we decide to keep it for years and years. That'll probably be hopefully coming up with a future Bronco build, so tag along. Thank you so much. Now, please do comment if any of this information has been helpful, or if you disagree, let us know how your Bronco experience has been, or if you're thinking of ordering, let us know what you're thinking of ordering. So just share your Bronco Intel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and until next time, more cars and more power to y'all. Howdy.